The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this week's Maptitude webinar. Today, we're going to be going over the new features in Maptitude 2022. So Maptitude 2022, I just released about a month or so ago. So there is uh, there have been new changes to the software and data. So today, we're just going to be going through uh, the main changes to all of those, uh, and we'll save some time at the end for any questions that you have about any of these features. So we are first going to take a look at the new data. So one of the most significant changes to the software was the addition of the US 2020 census data. So we'll just open up a US map. And as always, we update the geographic and demographic information every year. So all of the layers in here have been updated, as well as the uh, demographic data that is embedded in them, um, such as the zip codes, census tracts, counties, states. Uh, they've all been updated with data from the 2020 census and ACS, American Community Survey. So we can open up any of these by just right-clicking on a layer, choosing New Data View, and these are aggregated by all of them, but we can open up any individual one. Yep, these are all from the 2020 five-year ACS, as well as the uh, census. In addition to that, we do also have some additional free data products that are available if you have the latest version. Uh, those are things like uh, business location layers. Um, uh, we recently updated traffic counts, uh, business counts, and our geo demographic segmentation data it was all recently updated as well. So you can feel free to download that if you have mapped to 2022. Uh, as usual, we'll also be updating all of the other free data products. So things like uh, the highway exits and uh, other things like that will continue to be rolling as we go through. Right now, only the US uh, package is available in the latest version, but we are in the process of updating a variety of other packages in the software right now. Uh, so we do have separate timelines for all of those. It does really depend on uh, the individual package, um, but we are in the process of updating Australia, Brazil, Canada, the UK, Mexico, New Zealand, uh, as well as some European countries, including Spain, Italy, France, uh, the UAE, and uh, DACH, so Austria, Austria, Germany, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein. So all of those are being worked on as well. So in addition to all of that, uh, there are a variety of new tools that we are adding to the software. So the first one is the multi, uh, multi route vehicle tool. So if you're familiar with Maptitude, before we have done uh, routing tutorials or routing webinars on the basic routing tool. So recently we've also added in a routing deliveries and pickups tool. So I'm just going to open up a sample workspace for this. So here I have brought in a set of clients that I'm looking to service, a set of sites, and a set of depots. So I'm just going to delete this and then start from scratch. So to do this yourself, you're going to want to go to Tools, 
routing and directions, routing deliveries and pickups. We'll create new vehicle routes. And then we can give the tool a set of clients that we're looking to service and a variety of fields from inside that data. So for instance, I have my set of 60 clients and I'm handing it delivery demand would be We can put in fixed values, so if you don't have uh, values for any of these, so if you didn't know, for instance, your service time or didn't have a variable service time by client, you can put in a fixed value for any of these as well. So right now, all of the time windows are from 9 to 5. But in my case, if I had an open and closed time that I wanted to specify, I could use those too. So it takes in any of these fields, but you don't need to use them. You can just put in a fixed value as well, and that's fine. Once all of your clients are good, we'll click Next. This is where we can specify our depots. So I have a couple of depots in here. Again, I could change these from, uh, from fixed values to be based off of when the depots open and close. So you could add that information too. And over here on the left, as you're working through, there will be text boxes that will walk you through what exactly is going on. So you can just read on the left whenever you're going through these and it will help fill you in. We'll click next. Here we can specify the number of vehicles that we have. So in this case, we have two depots. So let's say there's one vehicle going from each. So one depot for vehicle one, one depot for vehicle two. And then we can give them a capacity of 10,000 units. All of the units that are uh, being used here are all just internally consistent. So if you are using miles, it will put back out miles. So it's all just contingent on whatever you're using. And then finally, we can choose an option to balance this by. So that would usually be, uh, time is usually a good one. And click finish. And Maptitude will sort out multiple routes at once and show them side by side. sets these up, opens up the routing tool. And then in here, just to briefly go over the options in here, you can click any of these buttons here to go back to earlier steps. So if you mess something up, wanted to tweak your inputs, you can go back to any of the earlier windows in here. And then just like the normal routing tool, we can use the export buttons for PDF or Excel to put our information back out. And also, just like the regular routing tool, you can use the move customer or drag customer buttons to modify the routes manually. So we could use these options. So we can just use uh, these buttons here to manually move any stops back and forth. So you can do adjustments just like you would for the standard version. That's just a brief overview of that new tool. We do also have some other new helpful tools in the software that you may want to check out as well. I'll let this close. So let me just get rid of the routes. And uh, one of those is the balanced territory wizard. So we've made uh, some changes to that. So why don't we check out 
Check out Connecticut. And then let's say we're just going to make some zip code territories uh, just in Connecticut. So we're not going to do the whole US, we'll just limit it to this area. Okay. And we can access the ensembles analysis tool. which allows us to give the software our set of locations. So we have our five digit zip codes or our selection of 283 of them. We are going to balance on population. And then the ensemble analysis is going to run through a thousand different iterations of this, creating a thousand different uh, territory constructions. And then based off of these compactness and deviation metrics, it's going to create the most compact regions that it can based off of the different uh, different iterations that it produced. So it's going to run a bunch of these in the background and then put out the best balanced territories that it can that are most compact based off of the different sets that it created. So you can obviously do this with many different fields in here. I'm going to do mine on population. Click OK, and then it will run through these, and it will automatically open up the Territory Manager. You can pretty much just click through Next with all of these. Click Next again. All of these are fine. Click Finish. creates it, opens up the Territory Manager, and then you are free to work with it as you would a regular territory. The routing tools are also just generally faster. We've made some improvements, so those should all be uh, moving faster. Um, I forgot to mention that before. Uh, as for some other tools that we have also put in, uh, just briefly covering some of the smaller ones, uh, we also made some improvements to some of the imagery options. So under map imagery, we've also now added the USDA and I NAIP imagery. Uh, this is good for agricultural use. Uh, so that has been added to the list. We also have improved the multiple fields uh, color theme option as well. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out, that allows you to show uh, multiple fields of data by a color theme, uh, which is often very helpful. I'm not going to uh, take too much time with that uh, because there are some other important changes that we've made outside of uh, the regular base software. We have also made some new changes to Aptitude Online. So, One of the most important ones is that we have added uh, background imagery information uh, for Canada, UK, Australia through uh, open source maps. So that means that if you are outside of the US, you can now upload maps, uh, imagery, stuff that you've made to the online version. So uh, sharing is now completely doable for any online users who are outside of the US. Um, so you can do FSAs for Canada, uh, postal codes for the UK, anything like that. That should also be for New Zealand and Ireland as well. So those should all be updated. And finally, uh, just some other cleaning house things, things that have changed recently. Uh, we've also instituted a new change to the way subscriptions work in Maptitude. Uh, it's not that different, so but if you were familiar before with how uh, subscriptions worked in that you could buy a license and use it indefinitely, that is still absolutely the case. You can still buy Maptitude, use it as a standalone. Uh, we've just also introduced an annual subscription option for those who want to. Uh, it is completely optional, but it lets you stay up to date annually with 
any changes rather than having to manually go through the process every year. That also keeps you uh, perpetually on support and with new uh, download links. So if that's uh, important to you, um, keep that in mind. But all of those uh, free data products will also be available in our store. So if you want to check any of those out, please do as well. Those are about all of the new features that we've had in the software. Um, there are a few odds and ends here and there. Uh, we also we added uh, Northern Ireland geocoding recently. So that is, that is supported for Northern Ireland postcodes. There's another few odds and ends. So if there are specific things that you're looking for, do, do please let me know. Um, at this point, uh, that has covered most of the new things. So if you have any questions about uh, any of the new features, uh, do feel free to put them in the question box or anything that was not covered. And I can always go look into other things that might have changed that I have not uh, talked about. So I'll step away for about a minute and I will circle back to address any questions that you all have about the new features in Maptitude. It doesn't look like there were any questions for anyone, so I think we can actually call this a little bit early. Uh, thank you all for joining me today, uh, looking over the new features. If there are any other questions that you do have, please feel free to contact us at uh, sales or support at caliper.com. Uh, but thank you all for joining me again, and hope you have a good rest of the day. Enjoy Wednesday, everyone. Cheers.